That title isn't clickbait. You can build your own external NVMe drive with no tools and speeds three times that of the same price as Samsung T5. And best of all, it's super easy and I'm gonna show you how. If I said you could make your own external one terabyte NVMe drive that reads and writes faster than most internal hard drives, you probably think it's clickbait or that you need some Linus tech tips levels of geekery, but it's not and you don't. With no tools and very little knowledge, I made my own external NVMe drive for video editing that costs less than a Samsung T5 and that is three times as fast. I'll put links below to everything you'll need for this. And if you use some of them, we get some pennies too, which will help contribute towards me bankrolling Pete's expensive watermelon habit. He goes through three a day, it's insane. <laughs> Essentially, we need just two items, the NVMe drive itself and a Thunderbolt 3 enclosure for it. It's important that you're careful when selecting the drive and the enclosure, as you want to make sure that they're compatible with each other. Also, the enclosure you select is very important. A lot are advertised as Thunderbolt 3, when in truth, they're actually just USB 3.1, and this will throttle your speeds to a mere one gigabit per second. Not the end of the world, but still 30% slower than the potential maximum. For ease, just follow the links below. Prices to these items will vary at the time. Computer components seem to fluctuate like the wind. We picked up the Sabrent enclosure for around 50 quid, and the Sabrent one terabyte NVMe drive for about 120. The beauty of this enclosure is it doesn't require any tools at all to set up. The enclosure opens, exposing the NVMe connectors. Making sure your pins align with the connectors, the drive goes in at a 45 degree angle and then pushes straight down. It's held in place with a thumb screw. Close the enclosure back up and that's it, you're done. When you get back to the computer, you may need to initialize or format this drive. This stage doesn't overtly affect the performance, so pick the format to fit your needs the best. On OS X, you'll know it's worked successfully as the drive shows as a PCIe drive rather than a USB or Thunderbolt. So now we're ready to go and prove how good it really is. Here is our disk speed test for this drive. Firstly, we're getting around 1400 megabits read and write speed, and at times up to 1500, which is just insane. Perfectly capable of editing large and multiple 4K video files from. To give this some context, I ran the same speed tests on the same connection with the blisteringly fast Samsung T5 and T7. The Samsung T5 came in at around 500 megabits per second and the Samsung T7 at 900, meaning our DIY Thunderbolt drive is almost a clear three times faster for the same cost. In truth, even if you only have access to USB 3.1, you're still getting speeds faster than that of the Samsung T7. So this DIY drive is now my go-to external hard drive when moving projects between computers and also for when editing at home on my MacBook. It would easily cope with being your sole editing drive and for the money and minimal hassle, I'd urge everyone to get on board with this project. If you do, I'd love to know your results that you got, so do let us know below. As I said at the start, the specific products that you need are listed below if you want some more info on them. And whilst you're down there, please do consider subscribing to our channel or even following us across the blog or social media. I promise it will be worth it. So that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.